Wicked, 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 wicked. Wicked tones, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> It's like we talked about before with the contraction horse thing. People are contraction horse. I think what it is is that people are trying to, they're outpacing, what do I say that? They're outpacing or they're out like, what's the thing? Oh, they're out, they're out tempoing or outpacing the contraction of the lift, right? So the idea that you're gonna grab onto things, hold this a second. So I'm gonna grab onto this and I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna try and get a back contraction. It's not the goal that from the start that my grip, everything once I grab onto this weight is locked down and tight. So we talked about before where you're like almost tensing the entire chain of your body that's pulling the movement. So it's like you're, they, one of these people, they outpace the contraction and out-tempo it because they're trying to squeeze right hard from the start and pull. So you see them are trying to pull this thing in and they're trying to like... They're tense from the start and when they get to the back, they're almost like unbearably tense in the sense that they can't, the muscle doesn't move anymore. So it hasn't, it hasn't given a bit a chance to stretch and then allow it to contract and recoil and flex, right? Like a bicep. I'm not gonna flex my bicep and go like this. I'm gonna slowly roll up through my bicep, right? So it's the same with back, it's the same with chest. If you outpace the contraction or you don't let that tempo or that natural motion allow for the contraction to build and then hit its peak, you're not gonna, you're not gonna lengthen and shorten the muscle effectively, right? So it's like you guys have to understand it's not about like, you don't have to make the contraction happen if you understand the tempo of a lift. So if I grab onto this, it's not that heavy. I understand where my weight is on my chest pad, I understand where my weight is on my hand, and I'm maybe even loose here. So I have a hook grip on this. I'm not grabbing this. So I'm not locking my forearm onto this thing. I have a hook grip and I'm loose. When I go to pull, like we've talked about before, I can squeeze palm harder. So I can be loose on my grip here so my bicep's not tight, my hand's holding on like a hook. When I go to pull, I can drop and roll up through my chest like we do and then I can relax into a contraction. So yes, I'm tense here, but there's no need for me to hold it. I'm just rocking into contraction, flexing, rocking out. This whole holding, or this whole trying to like get tight here and then go, it's like you see how much that's pulling you towards the weight and not allowing the weight to come to you, right? So if I try and pull this thing into me, no matter how hard I pull, I'm pulling it like a fucking crazy man. I'm trying to pull into this thing, I can't get up. So if I pull too hard right away, I'm stuck down. Over as if I rock up, I'm sliding in. Understanding that I'm building momentum to contraction and then letting out, right? So I see a lot of people doing that when I was away last weekend. That was like the main thing people I trained on back were having issues with, or they're trying to like, it's like, it's hard to even explain, because you'll, you'll know when you see it, it's just this over like, it's like, it's like as soon as the muscle, as soon as the weight moves, you think the whole, you have to, you have to elicit the contraction. Just understand that the flow of the movement and the tempo and the pace of the movement will elicit contraction. You don't need to make it happen. Yes, when it comes to like, fucking barbell rowing five plates, you're gonna need a little more power a little more oomph when you pull stuff but even still if i'm at five plates here and i'm sitting up tall it's not like i'm going ah, and pulling i have to like have this swing this rock almost and then rock up through right so i don't think you guys have to outpace or create your own contraction it's not going to work like that find wherever your shoulder rolls back the, the easiest with the elbow in front is about here okay so we're going to set you here broken elbow you're going to rock up and rock down and back so i rock forward here my head never changes the plane of its butt where it is. It's just chin down, rock back. So I'm trying to pull myself up, which I'll never be able to do. Both sides. So you can lock into here, relax the shoulder. Hold that position, just sit down. Let your legs roll under. Now posture up as tall as you can. Have your head back a bit. This is down. Good. Let that pull you forward an inch. Rock back, fly. Look up at the ceiling, fall back with that. So literally sway back. Elbows in front though. Yeah. So let out from lat, rock down into lat. Look up, fall back. More, fall back more. Yeah. Elbows in front, fall back. There you go. Fall. Yeah. yeah. Wide. Two, arch here. One more. 
Do it down. Come on. So put weight here. Chest up high. Yeah. Let out from lat. So let that lat go. Foot stomp. Yeah. More of a swing than it is a true pull. Yeah. Keep the hips oh. stiff back here. Don't let it move. You rock up towards the camera. Elbows down. There you go. Rock. Peel. Send these back. Good. Down. Oh. Put it on the chin down. Pull that shoulder back behind. Long squeeze. Long squeeze. A little higher on the double. Yeah. Feel that hold back though. Yeah. 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 Toss those shoulders back. Elbow. Two. One. Good man. Good. Relax into that lat. Butt way back. Let that lat get pulled out by that elbow. So relax. Let it go. Chest pressure. Slide. Rock through that shoulder. So let that shoulder move. Throw that shoulder back. More of a swing than a pull. Yeah, keep there for you. Yep. Rock. Really retract that shoulder. Drive that chest up to that mirror. Rock. As much force as you can generate. Yep. Bury that chin. Push your head back against my hand. Shove your head back. Chin down. Rock over. Two. One. Good. Now. Good man. Hit. Relax. Hit. Relax here. Break that elbow low. Yeah. Chest up first. Don't dip into it. Get taller. Uh, Every time you pull, you're taller. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Relax that hip. Uh, Rock. Two more. Uh, One more. Good. Uh, down. Good. Straight back at me. So when I'm rocking up here, I'm pressure on chest pad and I'm sliding up through. So it's not like I'm trying to pull this thing. I'm trying to arch and flex into a depth. Okay, okay. So I'm not trying to use my power of being able to stand here and go, uh, because there's nothing here. There's shit tension here, right? Right. Right. So I want to rock up, slide. So I'm rolling chest up and shoulders down as I pull, ending up arch like this, reaching out, turning is out and back, turning back. Fully lengthened. It'll go to like the length of your arm, but not the length of the machine. Turn that wrist in for me. Turn that wrist in. That elbow down. So sit up tall. Feel when you're here that you're locked here. So yeah. let your arm relax. Let your arm go forward. Rock back, throw shoulders down and back, and tuck into that. Yeah, fold on your pull. So relax here more, slide. Don't pull, break here. Yeah. yeah. Hesitate out here, relax, lift. Yeah, hesitate, lift. Yeah. Arch harder. Pull less hard. There you go, drag in. Yeah, two, arch. One. Good, oh. good. You arching and pulling at the same time is what's gonna happen, right? Yeah. So when I arch and I pull at the same time, I contract like crazy. As opposed to going, and then I pull and right, right. whatever happens, happens, right? Gotcha. Fall back even more. Elbow in. When you're up here, lean back now hard. Yeah, man, tuck that elbow. Lean as hard as you can. Like you're gonna fall if I don't catch you. Yeah, elbows in. Two, fall back. One, fall back first. Good, man. good. Just think it's like a forward and back, uh -huh. not up and down. So I'm just leaning, dragging to where I stick. I let that thing. Is that why we can just help, like, lay with the elbow, right? Yeah. If we lean back. Because my your elbow is gonna pull your lat out, right? Yeah. So if my lat, my elbow flies out, mm -hmm. my lat goes push down your elbow. That's my lat, right? Yeah. It doesn't matter where my hand is. Feet back a little more. Just so you feel like when you lay on this, you're, all your weight's there. Chest up a little taller now. Start this broken. Get that wrist in like a gun grip. Chest up tall. So lock into there again. Let that drift out. Arch and slide it in. So slowly arch, slowly pull. Yeah, tuck that elbow. There you go. That fold instantly. Yeah. Fold and fold here. Yeah, roll back with it. Roll back with it. More arch here. Yeah, man. Slow that pull down, arch. Yeah, two more. One more. Good, man. Very good. good. Yeah. Let that elbow go over that. Yeah. Gotta get more length somehow on that. Yeah. yeah. Tuck that elbow down. Yeah. Roll those shoulders. 
Two, strong feet. One. Good. We'll work on that. Come over here. You're gonna find, we won't do 20 pounds, but I want you to find the same thing here. My stomach's on my quad. I'm not doing anything here, be loose. I'm gonna arch up and have pressure down on my cord. I get taller and rock up and down. So I'm not pulling myself through. I'm driving up and I'm relaxing. So I'm arching the whole, all the way I'm getting tall. And then yeah. keeping your chin yep, back as well. down. So imagine this is the length. Get up taller now. Arch that back. Tuck that elbow in. Good. Rise up tall and pull. Yeah. Put that body weight there. Down. Arch hard. Tighter your elbow. Yeah. Longer let out. Let it go. Rock. Swing it up. Two. Lower. One. Good. Now. Good man. Good. Rock into that. Try and keep that elbow kind of tight, but let that shoulder roll back. Right there. Pull. Longer let out. You got another inch. Rock the body. Drive off feet. Yeah. Fold here. Yeah. Toss that shoulder, chin down. Yeah. Two. Swing low. One. Good. Now. Good man. Yeah, man. Pulling the line, it's on. Yep. Two more. Arch. Yep. One. Good man. Good. That's more normal. Normally you. It's <laughs> exactly what I need too. Middle lower, lower lap. Good man. I think my default setting is to have yeah, you want to be straight tight. wrist. It's not a bad thing. It's just from pressing <laughs> with like the suicide grip. Yeah, yeah. Back up a little more. Shift those feet up that way. Feel this hip down. So this lat's hanging, right? Feel yourself crunch into it. So roll that body up. Chest up taller a bit. Chest up a bit. Get taller and pull. Yeah. Let that elbow bend. Get that chest up when you bend that elbow. Yeah. Smooth. So linger out here. Relax. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Chest to the ceiling. Yeah. Chest up. Two. One. Good, man. Very good. Good. Like some exercises, you're trying not to snap elbow too much, and then some you want it yeah, all the way. Yeah, well, a lot of it depends on the movement, right? What we're trying to do. But the more, the further something gets away from you, the more I have to break instantly to be able to. In there, or if it gets too far, I'm going to go yeah. and fall into my pull. So it's always just like snapping and lifting all the time. Unless you're like purposely trying to do upper, then do all that because it's more traction you want, right? as well. Come around with stiff, rigid lines and yeah. pull, right? Like you can do overhead like pulls on this. It's like any pull you want on this, you don't have to do the way we did. I can hang here and I can treat this almost like a fucking, like a trap, like, like trap work. So I can almost be here and like rock up through. But I'm, re I'm relaxing on chest pad again. Just angles I want to work, right? We're open elbow, we're flared elbow, we're tucked elbow. All is going to hit different areas of the back. So it's always elbow angle. It's right. not where you're pulling. Right, right. Because I can pull straight ahead, but if my elbows are out wide, it doesn't matter. If I can pull in tight, but if my elbows flare, it's just upper again, right? 